out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part to get this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the Braves head away the Referee Herb Red Dean fight. will handle the action Red. in the octagon. All right, so here we go from Timo Marina in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever you are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. From International Fight League to Championship fights all across the board, you come to T-Mobile. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, solid kick right there. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, continuing to pepper the target here, that punch is good. More strikes to the head. Oh, nice. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, big knee there! He gets to the single power time. Look, man will drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. There's that body shot. Block that strike. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. It's trading two shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Big power shot there. Body kick lands. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, 
Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Connects with a beautiful jab. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, lands another hook. He's How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button. That would end the night. Single leg takedown is good. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Able to check the high kick. Come on, it's worse. 15 seconds to go. Oh, looks like a cut has just opened up on his forehead now. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike, so the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood, but when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to, but you got to do things better defensively, or ultimately he's going to get you out of there. He's got to move his head, he's got to stay out the center line, and he's got to press forward, put his opponent on his heel. All right, but well, all of a sudden we got a new storyline in this one, the cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Wow, what a kick! Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Missed with that right hand. Circling to his right. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. What a beautiful jab landing there. Misses with the right hand. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Lands the sidekick now. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Flipped with a right hand counter. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Keep your hands up. 
Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Just missed with the left there. Look at the redness on his body, man. Oh, solid kicks for landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Work, guys, come on. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Can't take any of those, you better check. Right now they separate. Nice punch to the head. Come on, let's get it. Nice body kick there. Great block there. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into hit the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Takedown defense is there. All the separates from the clinch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job. Oh! He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. 45 seconds remain in the round. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 15 seconds. Right on the button. Heavy body kick lands. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to, to try to change the tide Run. of this fight. Round three of a possible five. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And it was evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Great punch. You didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
big shot to the head. Wow, how about that? Nice uppercut by the champion. Checks the leg kick. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Chip. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not chin kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks, and he's taking full advantage of them. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Under two minutes to go in round three. Great setup, that was a nasty high kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big inside kick. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Beautiful shot to the leg. Great job landing that head shot from the clinch. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Feels like the beginning of the end. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. It did so there. But that punch, no good. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Twenty seconds left. Lands the lead right punch. Final seconds of round three. nose there he is bleeding all right so there's the end of the round you see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool cut on the bridge of the nose or so it appears from the strike in that round cut man getting right to work all right so let us now check out some of the action in that round dc there was a whole lot of it including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show it was a lot of action it was back and forth action but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Do Fourth it. round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round of fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Uh, 
Nice kick. Oh, roundhouse kick. Focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Like, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Nice block. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. That was a kick. That was thrown with ill intent. All right, there it is. Another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later on? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.